Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the IPv4 address format. The IPv4 address is gonna be 32 bits long. Okay, now remember a bit is either gonna be a zero or a one, and you're gonna have 32 of those. Okay, so one, 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 one zero. Dot. So that's a valid IP address, okay? And what we're doing here is we're dividing this. If we were just to list this in binary, we'd list it like this with all of the bits listed together. But we don't necessarily have to do that. We can use what's known as a dotted decimal lo location to go from zero to 255, okay? Now, if we were to convert this series here, this binary value, this would be 255 dot 255 dot zero dot zero. So that right there converts down to 255.255.0.0. Now the way you convert this is you convert it, each one represents a different value and you go down the list. So let's draw that out here. So the first one is going to be worth 128. Second one is going to be worth 64. Third one is going to be worth 32, 16. And you're probably seeing a pattern here. Eight, four, two, and one. Okay, so let's just pick a random octet. I'm just going to write some random ones and zeros. Uh, so let's do one, zero, zero. Let me make this a little clearer. One, zero zero one zero one zero zero now each of these is going to correspond in its value place to these numbers we're going to add these numbers together okay so we take 128 plus 16 all right so i'm just going to do this over here 128 plus 16 and then we're going to add four Okay, and four, so it's gonna be 148. So this octet can be read as one, four, eight. You can calculate with any binary octet its dotted decimal notation by using this method. So if you ever asked to do that on your exam, you can do that. Uh, that dotted decimal notation is going to help you understand that okay so and let me make sure you guys see this part here that's 148 there so 100 zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, equates to 148 if we need to convert a binary to a decimal we can use that method okay and then you'll find that certain values are often often come up in IP addresses like uh, 192, 255, and why do we see 255 all the time? Well, if you think about it, 255 is the max value we can have. Okay, because we, we take 128 plus 64 plus 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. If we add all those together, that's gonna equal 255. That's why 255 is the max value. Right, there's 256 possible values. One of those values is zero. So the max value would be 255. Now this becomes relevant when we do subnetting. In subnetting, oftentimes, you'll see either a string, an octet with all ones, or with all zeros. So that's where you can uh, understand that a little better. Okay, so we've gone through, uh, and we can do the, the reverse as well. If we need to calculate this in reverse, say we have like 198 dot uh, five two dot one hundred dot one. 
okay? If we were to convert this back into binary, all right, 198 would be, we do 124 plus 64, and then we would get uh, 92. We get 192 from that, so we need to add a, a 4 and a 2 to that. So that'd be, this one would be uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So we're writing 128, 64, and then we'd add a 4 and a 2. So that would equal 198. These others are gonna be a lot easier. We wouldn't add anything in the first, so it'd be zero, zero. We'd add a 32, so it'd be one. We'd add a 16 to that, it'd be a one. And then we would need six more to that, so it'd be zero, zero, no, no, no. We need, we need three more to that, so it'd be one, one. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, and then 100 is going to be a 0 to the start, 0 in the 128 column. We would add a 64 and a 32, which would get us 96, so we just add a 4. So then we go 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. And then 1's easy, okay? Zero, 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 one. All right, I hope that makes sense. So this is how you calculate your, your uh, binary to your dotted decimal and back and forth. So when you look at an address, you should be able to understand why that goes to binary to dotted decimal. Now, the reason you have to convert that, okay, is because what we're used to in normal mathematics is the decimal system. Okay, in a decimal system, a value can have 10 possible values, zero, keep pressing the same button here. A, a value could have zero through nine. So one digit could have a value of zero through nine, so 10 possible values. That's in decimal, okay? In binary, a value could only have a zero and a one. So that would be binary, okay? Then we also have hexadecimal, which we'll get into later, where we have something that can go from a zero, uh, it can have 16 possible values. And we do that by adding letters onto that, okay? All right, so that's how we calculate these these decimal values, these dotted decimal from binary to and from binary. So because of this, we know that we can have 255 or 256 possible values um, with a address of zero to 255, okay? Or an octet can represent zero to 255. Now we can have, if we look at a subnet, Subnets are often listed as 255.255.255.0, for example, okay, which would equate to, that's going to be 1111, etc., etc., and then 0. Okay, so the 255 is going to be represented by a full string, a full octet of ones for each of these three, and then a zero, which would be a full string of zeros. Now what we can do is we can determine that uh, once we have that, we can determine the CIDR notation, classless interdomain route, okay? Okay, that's CIDR. Now you might, you might have seen this in a lot of places, okay, where you have an address, okay, for example, like 192.168.1.1 slash 24, okay? That 24 is gonna determine 
basically the number of ones that we find in the subnet, okay? So with this subnet here, all right, we're gonna have, just write out the rest of these. Three, four, nine, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so this, if we had an address under this subnet, we can list that as slash two, four, because this subnet would have 24 ones. Okay, and we can calculate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, 16, 24, okay? Now that would represent what's known as a class C address, a class C address. That class C address is gonna have a subnet of 255.255.255. Class B address is going to have 255.255.0.0, and a class A is going to have 255.0.0.0. Okay, these are the most commonly used for your home router, your home network. You're probably having a class C network, which would be annotated by a slash 24 if we were to write out the address and write out a CID or notation. Okay, if we wrote out Say we had a class A address, 10.1.1.0, we do slash eight, for example, okay? Starting representation is also gonna change depending on the address or the class. So class A can have between a one and a 126. In the beginning of the IP, class B, 128 to 191, and a class C, 192. Uh, to 223. So if we had a class uh, B address, we can do like 174.1.2.0 slash 16, for example. So if you are ever presented with a IP address based on how it's written or how it's starting, you'd be able to understand what class of network that would be. Okay, great. Thank you.